Today, I'm going to show you a farm that not only can make bone meal for you, but will also store up XP until you need it, and it can store loads. This is a combined XP farm, bone meal farm, fueled only by cactus. Don't you go anywhere. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avamance, in my farm tutorial series, specifically geared up to 114, some of the new mechanics. This time, we're using the mechanic of the composter in order to make ourselves bone mill. But rather than just do bone mill, because anybody can just do bone mill, we're also making a pretty effective AFK, well, doesn't even need to be an AFK, not doing anything at all, XP farm using the same farm, the same cactus. So this is a cactus driven XP farm and bone mill farm combined into one farm. It's dead simple really when you think about it, but it works beautifully. Let's crack on and make it. Get yourself a rectangle that is 18 across by seven tall, but you only want the corners of this rectangle. You don't want uh, all the lines because this is gonna be the bit that's raised off the floor and you want to build a three high column one two three on each of these four corners once you've got those four corners done then get yourself some stone brick stairs and in each of the columns at the bottom go all the way around like that on these two as well one two three and four and the same here and then once you've done that, upside down stairs should go on the top. So what you create is effectively four elephant's feet that are going to support this entire build. I do hate when things don't actually follow gravity. It just makes my teeth fit and I can't be doing with it. So these need four lovely big pillars that you can build the farm on. Then get yourself I've got stone, it doesn't have to be stone, but I quite like it when it's stone, and build yourself out a platform that effectively goes right to the edge of the steps. So on that side there, come all the way along like that, and there, and come all the way along like that. I'll be that back when I've done. One big platform, and it looks like the table that they sacrificed Aslan on, but we're not talking about that. Decide which one of these long sides you want to use as the front of your farm. And on the other sides, get yourself all the way along, and I want you to create a wall that is too high. So, I don't know why I just knocked that off, because that's what you want. Too high like that, all the way around. So I'll be back when I've done that. So that's a two high wall all the way around three sides. Leave this side open for now. And what we want to do now is we want to come in one from the wall in both directions. So you can see here. So it's kind of their wall, one in and one in right there. And I want you to place a block, then leave a space and a block, then leave a space and a block, oops, space and a block. Then come to the opposite side, do exactly the same thing. Block, space, block space block space block you should have a two gap in the middle then coming this way i want you to put a block two in front of that and another block two in front of that and then keep going there and there there oh there and there there and there then jump the gap there and there there and there there and there whoop there there and there and that should bring you a two gap just here. Stick another one there, 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 there. Leave the gap there, 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 and there. And then on top of that, get a different block. Now I like to use um, an oak log with this one because it, it just adds a bit of contrast and put an oak log on each and every one of these. This does not have to be an oak log. It just needs to be a solid block because what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to remove all of these stone blocks that these um, oak blocks are on. So now we've got all of those there, we can remove 
all of these blocks so get rid of all of them you maybe you want to do uh, these in wool when you put them in it's entirely up to you but just get rid of them they are no longer required they were purely to give you the necessary support to get the wooden block up one high and that should be hopefully all of them yep and on top of that stick a block of sand now the reason you've got that wooden block of course is because if you just put sand down it's going to fall it acts upon gravity or gravity acts upon it and you need sand to be able to plant the cactus see i just got that wrong with the sand there and it fell there and there so you've got 16 cactus on each side or 16 sand blocks specifically on each side and that is very nearly ready to start doing the next bit so for the next bit we need to make a tray and what I mean by tray is we need to have a kind of channel that runs all the way along this area here like this right to the end and up just like that and then we need to finish off the channel by completing off a wall that encompasses it completely then get yourself another wall all the way around like that so that there is very nearly ready to roll then get yourself some green stained glass i like green stained glass because of off of cactus doesn't have to be green stained glass could be any glass in fact you don't even have to use glass you could use a solid block but isn't it much nicer to be able to see inside i think so and get yourself a row of gra glass don't do get a row of grass because that just won't work get a row of glass all the way around this and then what we're going to do is we're going to build a wall and this wall now is going to be another three blocks high the entirety of the circuit so i'll be back when i have done that and that looks just like that in fact i really love the way that green glass contrasts with the sand it works so so well and then come down to see the two block gap that we meant in the middle come down to the bottom of the channel here and I want you to put a block on each of those exactly like that and then take out those two blocks and then you want to come inside and I appreciate in survival it's not quite so easy and you want to put a hopper running oh don't throw the hopper away put a hopper there and there just those two hoppers like that and then if you want to you don't have to you'd be able to trim that off but we're going to do that in just a moment and i'll come back to how that is important in a sec then grab yourself some water so we're inside the farm now and you want to just get yourself some water put a water bucket in the corner leave a gap and then another one leave a gap then another one leave a gap then another one gap then another one gap then another one gap then another one and just keep on doing that and you should find the last bucket of water goes into the corner that should give you a water blade that runs from the very back all the way to the front but not into the channel and then in this channel put a single bucket of water in that end and a single bucket of water in that end and what you'll find is that means that the water runs all the way from there right to the bottom but not over those uh, hoppers and basically anything that goes into this farm into the water will end up on the hoppers and that's what you're trying to achieve so what i've done is i've put a temporary block on top of all of the sand i've used green wall because it looks a bit like cactus and i thought that'd be fun and then on top of that shove yourself a another wooden post like this on each and every one That is brilliant and on top of that shove another sand perfect and then get yourself some green stained glass now it doesn't have to be green stained glass i just personally find that um, glass panes work the best for this you could use a, a block you could use a, a fence you could use a gate but basically you need something that goes between those two 
and those two. And that's it. And then for the next row, you want something that goes between those two and those two. And repeat that across the entire length of the farm. Sometimes it's a bit tricky, and I grant you in survival, it's even more tricky. Perhaps I didn't um, think it through when I put the water in. Perhaps you'd be better off putting the water in afterwards. It's entirely up to you. But get yourself so you've got glass on basically touching each and every block. Like that. So if I come above, you can see that's what we've got. And then remove all of those green temporary blocks and put two temporary blocks on top of all of these ones. Repeat the process until you've got them uh, temporary blocks on all of these and glass panes again between them on the top one. Don't worry about that. The top one there like that. And then remove those temporary blocks as well. I'll be back when that's completed. So you should have something that looks a little bit like this. So above the level like the first level of the, the glass on the second level, on each and every one, you should have basically a piece of glass pane next to every single one. You don't need them down the middle because it's good enough that you've just got down them uh, each of those two rows and similarly on the bottom level as well. Now you've got a choice. If you want, you can do uh, five more layers of glass or you could do two layers of stone and two layers of glass. I actually like doing um, two layers of stone and then three layers of glass. I personally think it looks better. It's entirely up to you. I'll be back when I've done that. And you have now got something that looks very, very much like that. And you can keep going layer upon layer upon layer if you wanted to. It completely, completely depends on what you want to do. But I'm just going to go with a two layer farm. You could have three, four, seven, twelve. You go right up to build limit, frankly. It's entirely up to you. This could be a bit of a mega farm. I like two layers, otherwise it looks a bit like a skyscraper. Well, all this work is not a lot of use unless you're actually doing something with it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to place four chests. One of them is going to go just level with this bit here, come down underneath it, in front of that, go one, two for a double chest, and then one, two for another double chest. Under this one, put a hopper, shift click, so as it goes into the chest, you can see the hopper tail is pointing into the chest, and here, shift click or crouch click into that chest, you can see the tail is going into there. Take away those two things right there. Then, come around the front, on one of them, shift click onto the hopper, a furnace, and on the other one, shift click onto the hopper, a composter. And then come around the back, shove a chest there, and a hopper underneath the chest going into the back of the furnace like that. And that is the entirety of the farmy bit. I mean, literally there is nothing more for you to worry about other than that. You can then get yourself some, I like stone brick steps, it's entirely up to you, and run stone brick steps all the way along the top like that. That hides up those two hoppers really, really nicely and means that you've got a good clean edge across the front of your farm. Now the next bit is the tricky bit and I'm gonna be honest, there is a not unreasonable argument that states that you could have done this bit before Avermans. Why have you only just done it now? And it's it's a it's a reasonable argument. What you can do is build yourself a door into the back here so you can get in and out and perhaps have ladders, etc. But um, I, that comes down to your own personal style and how you prefer to do it. What you wanna do though, is you wanna put yourself a cactus on each and every one of these sand blocks, every single one. Now that means you need just one stack of cactus blocks for the entire two-story farm. There are 16 blocks in each segment. There are two segments on each level, and on two levels that means 16 times 16, or 16 plus 16 plus 16 plus 16, which gives you 64. So get all of your cactus blocks placed. And what happens where the cactus block, when it grows and it goes next to another block, it breaks. It can't work 
next to another block. It just doesn't like it very much. So when it grows up and it comes next to those glass panes, what will happen is the cactus will just pop off. And you've got 64 cacti growing there. There you go, you just saw one in the corner there. 64 cacti growing there that will just pop from time to time there you can see a few have gone there. Now you will lose some of these. If the cactus pops upwards and falls onto itself, you will lose it. But what doesn't always happen, you get cactus falling into the water. And when it goes into the water, it goes into either the composter, if it comes from this side, or into the um, furnace, if it comes from this side. Very, very simple. And now what I'm gonna do is I am gonna put a roof on it. I'm going to use a lower slab and I'm not going to make this overly pretty, I'm going to be honest, I'm just going to use a lower slab and cover the entire thing up right from uh, the edge. I'm not going to overlap it because that creates shadow down on the floor and I'm just literally going to put a cap on it on a lower um, slab and as a result of it being a lower slab it is not a spawnable block which means you're not going to get mobs spawning on top of your farm. I'll be back when I've completed it. So I realized I was a complete wally and I forgot, I don't know how I forgot what a wally, but uh, I didn't put the staircase above the, the chest. So there's actually no way you can open the chest to put the fuel in. So what you need to do is get rid of that chest and above there, shove an upside down set of steps. Uh, from the top, it looks absolutely the same. And then pop yourself your chest back in there and you've got the chest for your fuel. Dead, dead simple. And then also, because we are looking for this to be an XP farm as well, on the side that's got the furnace, come behind that hopper, put in a repeater and then a lever. And what that lever will do is when you want to physically remove something from the furnace, because at the moment, see we've got cactus popping in there already, um, what's going to happen is it's just going to keep flooding out and the only way you can get the stuff out of the furnace is to remove it from here but it will never happen because it'll be constantly flowing through the furnace and you never get a chance but if you then lock the furnace turn on that that will then mean that anything you put in the in the hopper underneath well basically the hopper the hopper's locked and um, that basically nothing can go into it and nothing can flow out of it whereas in fact I'm going to do it's going to be easier to show you with a coal block. So that there, it's not moving. I unlock the hopper. Oh look, it's going down. That would also be sucking stuff out of the furnace. Turn it off again. It's locked again, which means anything in the furnace will stay in the furnace. So that's why that is like that. Now, some people probably shouting, Avo, Avo, why can't you just put a redstone torch there and a lever on there to power the redstone torch? Well, because that also then powers the rest of it and it all goes horribly wrong. So when you haven't thrown the lever, it um, basically locks it as a result of the redstone. And when you do throw the lever, it locks it as a result of the lever. So we don't do it that way. We do it this way. Just go with it, all right, people? Just go with it. And that is pretty much a working farm. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna throw a load of fuel into there. You'll see the furnace is now rolling and that um, cactus is, oh, is it locked? Did I lock it? Oh yeah, it's locked, look. There we go, let's turn it off. That cactus will then flow through the furnace and into the chest, exactly like that. So what I'm now gonna do, let's just check what inventory we've got there. So we've got a couple of cactus green in there. We've got one bone meal in there at the moment. I am going to, basically wait um, for let's say 30 minutes and we're going to see what a double tier farm does in 30 minutes but before I do that actually I'm going to do the one thing that I forgot to do my apologies again and that is light up underneath the farm and that way you end up not getting mob spawning underneath there that's nothing nothing you want there is it so anyway let's just have a look at this again so we've got six of those so pretty much negligible amount of stuff. Let's AFK for 30 minutes. So actually that was nearer to 40 minutes because, well, basically I mistimed it. So let's say 40 minutes, give or take a minute, it's 40 minutes this has been running for. And um, it's, 
it's been, basically the the furnace has constantly been on, and so far we've got what sixty foot three nearly three and a half stacks which makes a lot of sense because it takes 10 seconds to smelt something so there's obviously a time limitation as to the amount of things that you can get in and um, we've got you know around about 40 minutes worth of 10 seconds right there so that makes perfect sense and what we've got in here is okay a stack and two bone mills uh, that's happened in 40 minutes bearing in mind that has come from just two um, levels you could make this as many levels as you want and you could have cactus flying through this or if you wanted to you could not have an xp farm you could have it all just going through into two composters or one composter it's entirely up to you you can make this farm whatever you'd like it to be you can also decorate it however you'd like to be this is fairly boring looking it looks a little bit like some strange uh, kind of Wally -E robot type thing with those four legs and uh, I don't know I've, I've decided not to make this pretty and decorate this too much because basically you can do it however you would want but it's pretty effective one XP and bone mill farm combined fueled solely by cactus that's quite interesting very effective and completely automatic XP and bone mill farm all combined. You just have to have it loaded. So if you put it in the spawn chunks, it's going to keep rolling and you can do it as high as you want. You could have as many levels as you want. It's entirely up to you. It's a pretty decent farm. You're not getting um, bone mill like a stack a minute, nothing like that. But that's not really what this is about. This is a quick and easy farm that you can get all your bone mill from. If you have enjoyed this video, please do remember to slap that like button. It'd be great to know you're enjoying it and I will keep on making them. And also, if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button. It'd be great to see you in my sub club and I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.